So how you've had successes like we've we I've mentioned you uh, Key and Peel, uh, Broad okay. City. How have these come about? Like, how did your agent or manager come about, or how did these uh, sort of actually in a roundabout way? Um, Key and Peel came from I did uh, Lennon and Jess's show playing show house. playing house. Yep. And that was directly through them. They told the casting director. Oh, no. The casting director had seen maybe like an SNL showcase or something that I did. Oh, where? where? At UCB. Here or New York? Here. Oh, cool. And so she knew me. Or maybe SNL was some showcase. No, it was like one of those when like they come and, you know, a bunch of people. And the artistic director just picks a bunch of people. Okay. And so I think I had done that. Or maybe it was a different kind of show. It was some showcase that she saw. Um ostensibly i thought got me nothing <laughs> uh but she this this lady was there and she ended up being their casting director and i think they needed someone and it was truly starting like the next day right so someone must have said no <laughs> uh and it was a saturday and then yeah it was <laughs> no it was it was it was it was and i was oh and i was like going to coach someone and i had that's no ridiculous money i had been here <laughs> A wh- for a while and I was running I was like fuck I don't know what I'm gonna do that's amazing and it was I think it was a weekend I was going to coach I forget who it was and I got this call from this casting director and she was like will you come that's be so- on their show for a week and I was like for yeah, a week yeah of course oh wow because we were dancing so they had to teach us how to dance oh funny uh, and so that casting director then also cast Key and Peele so when uh, and Keegan Michael Key was in that episode and so he was oh, super cool. nice and, and then yeah, I so think maybe without an agent or a manager, you're booking these these yeah. theatrical things. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, it was really was cool. Broad City the same way. Um, I just from knowing them in New York th- because yeah. like Darcy yeah. Carden I had on she she got it through knowing them in New yeah. York and they yeah. were, they're two uh, 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 Abby and I actually my first solo show that ran in New York ran we ran our shows together. Oh, so and cool. we actually took a class to write them together. We took Becky Drysdale's oh, solo show class. Yeah, that's awesome. So it's all that through them. Yeah. So ha- yeah. do you have a manager and agent now? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. How um, did, just from your credits, basically, you're uh, like, hey, look at me. I'm doing the damn thing. No, I harass people <laughs> like unbelievable. Like friends? Uh, friends who knew assistants or friends You got, you who... got the cojones to do that? A lot yeah. of people are very timid with that. Well, so, why? Well, it's a, it's a very heavy question to ask because I feel like a lot of people... Oh, no, don't... only... like I would never ask. I would ask friends who were like, my good, good friends, and I felt like if they, if they could recommend me. But I waited... When, the first year that I moved here, I waited until I wrote enough scripts and had enough things going on that I could be like, hey, yeah, I feel traction. like this is pretty good. I'm not really doing that much, but I'm good, and you know, and here's a bunch of stuff yeah. that I wrote and that was in. And could you help me out? And people did. Most of it didn't work out. Right. And then I kept emailing people who truly just like I would find like who represents this person that I like, who represents this person, like who's their assistant? And then I would email those people. Wow, good for you. And then you had some hustle in you. Yeah. So which one actually bared fruit? Uh, a friend's recommendation who worked at a um, management company. With a junior manager, or maybe he was an assistant at the time. I was just like in constant. I just like updated these people, and most of them never write you back. But some right. of them would be like, "Yeah, keep in touch. You seem great." Yeah. Um, and then I just kept on a couple of people, and then eventually I did. I think another, maybe another showcase, or I did something, and they came, and they were like, "Okay, well, let's see what we can do." Oh, that's great for you. And it wasn't like we're gonna. You're the best. We're you're <laughs> we're gonna kill it. We'll send you out into the world, and you know. But it was kind of like, yeah, okay. You seem like you're a hard worker, and you're very funny, and that's funny. We'll see what we can do. You know, my friend Lisa just shared with me like it's the seven in business. Apparently, you have to do like seven contacts with the person before it it oh, bears right. fruit or whatever. Like you send them an email, then you cross them in the hall, and then whatever. Oh, that sounds like apparently it. yeah. it's like seven times you need to contact somebody before they will do help you do you or whatever. Do whatever. I don't know. What Maybe they, yeah. It's I don't. I've never heard that, before. but it was yeah. It was a lot of. That's not what it sounds like. Reaching out to people with no and feeling like fuck. Am I wrong? Am I this <laughs> bad that no one wants me? Because <laughs> I felt like I was doing good. I did this yeah. show that I was so proud of, and I and I was doing. Improv and my first team here, Cooper. I felt we had so much fun, and I felt like I was funny on that team, and I could be myself. And same with JV, and I was like, "Geez, I guess no. Yeah, maybe I'm uh, crazy." And yeah. then no, you just need to be a little bit persistent, I guess. Yeah, and I think your your success at UCB is more of a sign than not finding an agent or. Manager, oh yeah, I mean, all of weird, that is what it is. It yeah, is. Yeah, it's a weird dynamic. Yeah. yeah. 